I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring the possibility of solving integral question using substitution. The question here is find integral of x cubed divided by square root of 1 minus x to the power of 4. You can observe that derivative of x to the power of 4 is 3x cubed. So you get at least x cubed from the derivative of x to the power of 4. So that helps you to solve this question by substitution. So let me substitute u as equal to 1 minus x to the power of 4. Now if I do that, then du is equal to minus 4x cubed dx, right? Now we have x cubed dx here. So let's rewrite the given question. Integral of, uh, you can say, uh, so we need 4x cubed, right? So I'll write here 1 fourth, and then we can write 4x cubed dx, right? Over square root of 1 minus x to the power of 4. Is that okay? So now you can replace d 4x cubed dx by by du, right? So negative du in this case, right? So that will help us to integrate. So what we will do here is we'll do the substitution. Square root part will be replaced by u. So we have, we can take away 4 and since it is negative, we'll take minus 1 over 4 integral of 4x cubed, this is du, right? And here we get u to the power of half, right? u to the power of half or square root of u for the time being. Now that could be written as minus 1 over 4 integral of u to the power of half with a negative sign since it was in denominator du. So we can apply the power rule which is minus 1 over 4 u to the power of minus half plus 1 that will give you half divided by half right. So at this stage, we can actually, let me take it to the right side and rewrite. So what we have here is that the integral of x cubed over 1 minus x to the power of 4 d of x is equal to, so we'll take, we have minus 1 over 4, this could be written as 2 over 1, right, and u can be replaced by 1 minus x to the power of 4, 1 minus x to the power of 4, to the power of half, right? Which is same as minus half, and that is square root of 1 minus x to the power of 4. So whenever you find integral, you have to add the constant c, right? So in any indefinite integral, we'll have, we can apply the formula and then write down the answer. So it is always a function which you get as a result. To check the result, what you can do is, you can always do the reverse thing, find derivative to get the function. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.